Everybody should have on an apron, have a messy mat, and a piece of paper in front of them. And I would like the person sitting in seat number three to come and get the black crayons from me. Everyone's gonna need one black crayon, and we're just gonna fill our paper with some crazy squiggles and wiggles. You can draw squiggly lines, or you could draw some zigzaggy lines. You can even draw both. Now, don't go too crazy, because we're not coloring the paper with crayons. We're just drawing some squiggles and wiggles on our paper. You can even draw little squiggles if you want to fill up the space on your paper. Once you're done, put the crayons away. And I would like the person in seat number four to bring me the containers back to my counter. Now I'm going to hand out the water cups to each table. When I set it down, you can open them up. And I'm going to pass out the watercolors to each table. Now remember, we have to be careful when using these because I don't have very many of them. So if they become a mess, you can't use them anymore. Remember when we're using these, we use a little bit of water and only a tiny bit of paint because the colors go really far. You'll get your paintbrush, dip it in the water cup, wipe the extra water off on the lip of the cup, and then dip it into your first color, just a tiny bit. Now, we're painting our paper like it's abstract art. So you can put the colors anywhere you want. Just make sure you fill up the whole page with color all the way to the edges. That's why we have a messy mat today. Once you're done, make sure you rinse off that paintbrush super well. Wipe it on the lip of the cup. And I'm gonna come around and pick up those trays of watercolors again. Now make sure the lids are closed on those water cups. And I would like the person sitting in seat three to bring them to my counter. Set them by the sink. Now that your whole paper has been painted, we're going to take the papers on the messy mats and put them on the drying rack at the end of your tables. Now that we've learned about all the different parts of the body, we're going to draw our own stick figure self-portrait. That means we're drawing ourselves as stick figures. I would like the person sitting in seat number two to come and get the basket of pencils and Sharpies from me. Now we are going to start with the pencils. So I should not see any Sharpies out of the basket just yet. 
Leave the Sharpies in the basket till I say it's time. We're going to start with a pencil and we're going to write our name on one side of the paper. Then we're going to flip it over so it's safe on the back. Now we're going to start with the head of our stick figure person. So we're going to draw a circle for our heads. Now we need some eyes, maybe some eyebrows, a nose, and a mouth. If you wear glasses, maybe you want to add your glasses as well. You don't have to draw the glasses if you don't want to. You can also add some hair. Once you're happy with the face, we need to give our stick person a neck. So we're going to draw a short little line coming from the head down. Now we're going to add the shoulder. So we're going to draw a line that goes across our body for the shoulders. It should connect to the bottom of your neck. Next we're going to give our person a shirt. So from the shoulders you're going to draw like you're drawing a rectangle except you're not going to go all the way back to finish it. You're going to do this on both sides. It's like you're starting to draw a rectangle but you don't finish it. Now to draw the bottom of the shirt, now that we have our sleeves, we're going to draw two lines that go down. You can make your shirt however long you want. You could even turn it into a dress if you wanted. But if it's a shirt, you're going to draw a line at the bottom connecting it. Now I'm going to add arms coming out of those sleeves. And maybe my person is waving. Now that I have my arms, which are two lines coming out of the sleeves, I'm going to give my person hands. To draw a hand, I'm going to start with a circle and then add little lines for the fingers. I'm going to do this to both hands. Now I'm going to add pants to my stick figure. Maybe yours has a skirt on or is wearing shorts. That's up to you. To draw the pants, I draw two lines going down, two little lines going across, and then I have them come meet up at the top. Now I can add pockets to my pants. I could add a button and a zipper. I could even add designs on my shirt if I wanted to. Now my person's missing one last thing and that's my feet. I'm gonna draw some little shoes coming off the bottom of the pants. And I've finished my stick figure. Now, I know we wrote our names on the back, but we're going to go ahead and write our names on the front as well. Just do the best you can to write your name. Kind of put it off to one side because we're going to cut it out later. Now we finish with our pencil. We're going to trade pencils for Sharpies. We're going to trace right back over top those same lines with our Sharpie. Remember when the cap is off, your voice is off.
You also need to go over your name with the Sharpie. When you're done, take the cap, put it back on, press it on really tight so that the markers don't dry out, and put the Sharpies back in the basket at your table. Now, I would like the person sitting in seat number one to come trade me the pencils and Sharpies for scissors and glue sticks. We're gonna start with the scissors, so leave the glue sticks in the basket. We're gonna take our scissors and we're going to be cutting around our people. We're not cutting on the black line. You wanna leave space between the black line and where you're cutting. That way you don't accidentally chop off a finger or part of your head. We're just cutting kind of around our person. You can see here, I didn't cut super close to where I drew. I just cut kind of around the edges. After you cut out your person, you can set that to the side. And remember, we need to cut out our name as well. Once you've cut out both parts, you're gonna take your trash and go throw it away in my trash can. Now that we've finished cutting out our people, we're gonna put the scissors away and get out our glue sticks. I'm going to pass back out your crazy abstract artwork that we painted last time you were here. We're gonna set them in front of us tall. They're vertical. They're going up and down not side to side like they're sleeping or laying down. We want a paper standing tall in front of us. You're gonna get your person and we're gonna put glue on the back. Remember while the cap is off, we try to be quiet. That way we don't waste our glue sticks by playing around. Put lots of glue all around the back of it. You wanna cover the whole thing and then you'll flip it over and put it kind of near the middle of your paper. And then press it down so it all sticks. Once you've glued down your person, you're gonna also glue down your name. Same thing, flip it over on the back and put lots of glue on it. And you can put this anywhere on your paper you want. And glue it down. When you're done, make sure you've turned down the glue stick and put the cap back on till it clicks. Then put the glue away in the basket and the person sitting in seat number one can bring you back the basket of scissors and glue.